like to just address, I'd like to address uh, the lady who had spoken, the Danish lady who had spoken about uh, comparing African women not having the right to choose what to do with her body and it being colonization. It's actually quite amazing how you were able to kind of twist that into shape, uh, to, to that thought. But I must say this to you. Um, I am from a tribe called the Igbo tribe in Nigeria. If I tried to translate in my native tongue what it means for a woman to choose what to do with her body, I couldn't. Most of the African native languages don't even have a way of phrasing abortion to mean anything good. Now, as, a com as communities of people and as societies, where it, it actually then becomes colonization, a neo-colonization is that people from the Western world come to Africa and try to give us these kinds of language that we could never translate into our native tongue. They tell us that it actually can mean something for a woman to do something with her body, which isn't really morally uh, bad. But anyway, the first thing that we have to think of and remember is that as communities, which was one thing I highlighted right at the beginning, culturally, most of the African communities actually believe by tradition, by their, their cultural standards, that abortion is a direct attack on human life. So for anybody to convince a woman that abortion is good, Sorry. So I'm sorry. So for anybody to be able to convince any woman in Africa that abortion is actually a good thing and can be a good thing, you first of all have to tell her that what her parents and her grandparents and her ancestors thought her what is actually wrong. You're going to have to tell her that they have always been wrong in their thinking. And that, madam, is colonization.